Welcome to Microsoft Teams, working with student assignments. Today we're going to be looking at the different assignment types in Microsoft Teams. We're going to be able to assign them to multiple teams at the same time, change the permissions for students, or even attach different resources to your assignment. The first thing we need to do is to log into Microsoft Teams and choose Assignments. Then we select the class that we want to assign something to and click Next. So today we're going to create a new assignment. Choose Create and then Assignment. Start with entering the title. We're going to call this Sample Assignment. Once I have my title, I input my instructions for my students. Please complete this assignment. At the top there, you can see that I could change the formatting of the wording or I can enter a link. I prefer to add a link down here and add resources. Once I select Add Resources, I'm given a list to choose from. I can upload from OneDrive, which is very helpful if I'm not on my normal computer. I can input from Class Notebook. I can add a link, create a new file, or go to the bottom and upload from this device. Once I select Upload from this device, I choose the file that I want and it begins to upload automatically. Once it's loaded completely, I select Done. You can see that it inputs itself right below my instructions. The next piece is to make sure my students can access it. The three dots on the right allow me to change permissions for the assignment, whether my students can simply see it or they can edit their own copy. Another great resource that I might like to add would be a link to a website or a form. I simply add resources and select link. If I want to send out a form, I log into Microsoft Forms and choose the one I want. Then I use this green button here and share it. When I select share, I'm given a couple options. I want to send and collect responses, and I can assign this only to people in my school district or to anyone with the link. This would be what I send out to my students. Share as a template will allow me to send to a co-teacher so that they don't have to create the same quiz that I have. If I want to send it out to my students, I select this link and then input it into my team's assignment. Once I've input the link, I choose what text I want the students to see, such as complete this form, and then I attach it. You'll notice that it shows up right below my instructions and any other work that I've assigned here. Then I assign my points, and I can even select a rubric to give to the students, whether I create my own or upload one that I've already used. Next, I think about what classes I want to assign it to. I already know that I want to assign it to this section, but what if I have more than one section that has the exact same assignment? I select my classes here and choose all of the sections that I want to assign it to at the same time. Next, I have just as many options for students as I do for classes. I can assign it to all students in all sections. I can assign it to a handful of students or just one. Then I look to my due date and time. Below that, there's a section if I don't want my assignment to post immediately. When I click Edit, I can choose when the assignment is going to show up in Teams. This is very helpful if you want to assign all of your work on Sunday night and just have the assignments arrive when you want them due. For this assignment, I'm going to schedule it to show up in their Teams Thursday at 10 a.m. And then I choose my due date. I'm going to have it finish the following Monday. Now I have an option if I want to close the assignment. The assignment will no longer be available to students and they can't turn it in late. I typically like to leave it open so that students have a choice to do their work even if they haven't had it done on time. Now if I switch to a student view, you can see the sample assignment we've created. I have the form and the sample story right in the assignment. When I select one, it automatically loads and I'm able to work on it. It's important to remind your students when they open their materials to know whether or not they can edit them. If they can't edit something, they need to come up here to the corner and click Edit Document. This allows them to either edit in the browser or open in the Microsoft Word app. Once they've clicked Edit, they should be allowed to type into it. I'm going to write my story here so that I can submit it. Here is my story. One of the truly great things about working with Teams is you can see it saves my work automatically, so I can close and go back to the assignment. Now I have the option to add my own work. When I select Add Work as a student, 
you can see that it brings up an option for me to upload my own files to the teacher. I can go through OneDrive, create a new file, insert a link, or even upload from my device. I select what I need, attach it to the assignment, and then I just need to turn it in. When I go back to this assignment as a teacher, I can see that this student has now turned in the work. When I select Turn In, it should load the student's work right to me. And there it is. Now I can read what the student wrote. I can even go to the top and cycle through all my different students' works in one place. Then I enter feedback, such as great story. And I even assign points. Other options that I have would be to edit the document and provide collaboration as a teacher. I could even print the document or come over here and view the history of how my student worked piece by piece. When I'm done, I just click return and it goes to the student. Teams gives us many opportunities to work and collaborate with our students. I can assign the same assignment to multiple sections with ease. I can insert resources directly to assignments or increase communication between the students and myself.